Good morning. I wanted to talk with you a little bit about your upcoming assignment about creating a personal space and I wanted to show you a few personal spaces. Um, first of all, let's start with this little house here and you can see it's just a simple little block house with um, stained glass windows and kind of a shake roof and a door that does open and as we walk inside the door it's just one room actually perfect with a fireplace perfect for um, putting down some chairs and cushions and visiting with friends now here is a campfire area that I've created and if you sit on the stumps or the cushions this is actually created for a classroom environment because what can happen is that uh, if you read the dialogue there it said um, to put your hand up press the fly up or page up key I'm going to press that and let's see if this works I have to click inside world page up and there goes my hand I have a question. <laughs> so this is when there are a group of people and we're voicing and we want to have the opportunity to um, let the teacher know that we want to say something. In fact, if you let the hand stay there long enough, um, I do believe it starts waving around anxiously because you haven't been called upon. The other thing you could do is something a little more unusual, and I have created this globe over here. Remember when the wicked witch or the good witch of the north appeared in a bubble? Well, this is my bubble, and um, I'm going to pan through and show you that inside the bubble, there is a cushion. It's called. It says meditate on it, and on the inside, the bubble is actually kind of transparent so you can see out but they can't see in. Because I have linked the meditation cushion to the bubble all I have to do is click on the globe, the bubble itself and say it's gonna say meditate and it pops my avatar inside and see if I can show you and there I sit in a meditation pose locked in my little bubble that no one can see into but I can see out of. And that would be another place that you could create to put some um, cushions around. You could create a floor in here actually and invite people in. Um, they could sit on the cushions, they could talk, you could visit, you could put your lamp, anything that you've built so far. So the purpose of the personal space assignment is to give you an opportunity to create a place where you would visit with your friends and have conversations, something a little unusual, not necessarily what you already see in terms of the classroom environments in, in School Elaborate Teen Second Life.